Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'm making barn doors. I used two of these metal plaques from a Dollar Tree, two of Dollar Tree's hanging signs, these stir sticks I get from Amazon. I needed 16 of them. Plaster chalk paint, burnt umber acrylic paint, hot glue, and Gorilla Glue. First thing I did was sanded both of those hanging signs. I painted both of those with the burnt umber acrylic paint, and I just did one coat. You don't have to paint the backs. I did because I just like everything to be completely finished, but you can just do the front. Next, I took my stir sticks and painted them with the same burnt umber color. I just spread a bunch of it on each one and then used a baby wipe to blend them in. And again, I covered them entirely because you'll see some of the backs on a couple of them, but you don't have to. Most of them, you won't see the back at all. Next, I took the plaques from Dollar Tree and all I did was bend that little piece that hangs over. I just bent it right to the back. Put it on one of the signs I painted. It's just about eight inches below it and above it. I flipped it over, put some of the Gorilla Grip glue on it. It's like an E6000 and hot glue and glued it to the center of the sign. Next, I take one of the stir sticks and I put it on the side of the sign Then I just make sure that I had measured right and they both fit perfectly, two of them along the entire edge. I place down some Gorilla Glue and hot glue on the edge of the sign and place that down. Now, I did not make it flush along the side. It hangs over a bit but I made sure that it was flush on the top of the sign. And then I glued down my second one and then did the same thing on the other side of the sign. Next, I took another stir stick, put it along the top in between both of those ones on the sides, marked it off and cut it with Fisker shears, used the both clues again, and placed that one down in between those two stir sticks, and did the same thing on the bottom. And then I did the same exact thing again, this time putting one on top of the little metal plaque and then one on the bottom. And then I took another stir stick and put it corner to corner on the top section and marked it off and then cut them at an angle so they would fit angled from corner to corner and then glued them down the same way and I did that on the bottom as well. And I did make two of these. And I did want to mention that after I cut each of the pieces, I gave them a quick sanding.
Next, I took some painter's tape and just covered up the metal plaques so I don't get any of the plaster chalk paint on them. So you can go ahead and just leave them as is. They are really cute, just this one color. I just wanted to have them more of a white color, but I wanted some of that dark color showing through just a little bit. So I just brushed on one coat of the plaster chalk paint covering everything but that center plaque. I did not do the backs of them with the white, I just left them the burnt umber color. And then once they were dry, I just removed the painter's tape, and I just love how they turned out. I will be hanging them eventually with another project I'll be making, but for right now, this is how they are. Thank you guys so much for watching.